A city is ready to show itself to the region. Hanoi is putting the final touches ahead of the opening ceremony of the 31st Sea Games tomorrow. Now, the Games are being held after a six-month delay because of the pandemic. And Lauren Ong is at the Maidin National Stadium where the third and final rehearsal for the opening ceremony is currently underway. Lauren, tell us a bit more about what the atmosphere in Hanoi is like right now. Well, lots of action here at the venue of the opening ceremony, which will officially launch the 31st Sea Games tomorrow. It has died down um, a little bit, but uh, the full dress rehearsal... The full dress rehearsal is going on um, right now. Earlier, the torch cauldron was lit up, and I've been told that the fireworks will um, go on for 15 minutes tomorrow at the large screen to, to my left. Um, but of course, the preparations for the SEA Games go beyond the stadium halls. It's harder to see at night, but if with the dim street lights. But if you want to take a quick drive around the city, you know, during the day, you can see flags, um, colorful flags um, on the bridges, um, sea games, signages on the roadsides, and even ASEAN flags on the hotel fronts. And all these sights and sounds, you know, they go to the extent to participating provinces, even as far as two hours away, like where the football, men's football um, matches were being held. I spoke to some locals um, just now, and here's what they had to say. Vietnam, kỳ đại hội 31, thì đã tổ chức SEA Games tại Việt Nam và Việt Nam đã rất cố gắng tập trung để chuẩn bị cho công tác thực hiện SEA Games 31 tại Việt Nam. Trước tại Việt Nam, đối với bản thân em thì thể thao là một trong những um, vấn đề tốt về cho sức khỏe với tất cả động lực để tất cả mọi người trên toàn thế giới. Uh, Lauren, you've 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 hit the ground running, you know, since arriving in Hanoi yesterday. Um, what has been the experience for for yourself and as well as other you know foreign journalists and visitors who've come for the games? What's the experience been like? Yeah, so athletes, um, delegation staff, and journalists have come in from uh, te the ten other ASEAN countries and beyond. Actually, um, sporting events have already been underway, but generally the guidelines and the programs are rather uncertain at the moment, and, uh, and they're actually evolving day by day. For instance, the closing ceremony was announced to be at this venue where I'm at, but we were her here earlier um, yesterday, and we were told that. It's not over here, but it will be at another venue. But of course, it's apt to note that Vietnam has only decided or announced that they will be holding the SEA Games just two months ago after it was postponed due to pandemic concerns. And of course, this is a shortened runway for preparations for this large sporting event. And the pandemic has, of course, um, taken center stage. Um, this media guidebook, for instance, is 100, page, but it's 100 pages, but a fifth of it is on COVID-19 measures, like on wearing masks and um, limiting mass gatherings. But of course, I haven't seen enforcement of that just yet. But generally, positive reactions from the foreign visitors that I've spoken to, including journalists that I had a chat with at the press center. And here's what they had to say. The COVID protocols, uh, while not that strict, are still being practiced, at least uh, from the, not only from uh, the athletes, but also to the citizens as well, with a lot of people still wearing masks, which is good. Uh, so far, it's been, it's been great for me, you know. Um, I, I showed up, I've been, uh, I, there's been a great welcome here in Hanoi, everyone's been really helpful. The, um, the press center here is, is, is pretty impressive, you know, the, the Wi-Fi is fast and we're able to get our stories out there, so that's the main thing for me. So Team Singapore will be at these spectator stands tomorrow and some of them will join the athletes parade at the white stage behind me. Um, of course, they will be helmed, um, led by the flag bearer and SEA Games champion, Sheikh Farhan. All right, many thanks for that, Lauren. Uh, we've been speaking there with Lauren Ong in Hanoi and along with Ali Vamsha, they'll be bringing you the best highlights and reaction from the Games with a special focus on Team Singapore. So do stay tuned to them.